Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the middle of July, the 16th to the 22nd. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you probably do not need any tarot advice and you should probably not watch this reading. This is not a reading that is going to talk about your bank account, so keep that in mind. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of those. If it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Um, yeah, like I said, these are love readings, and I want you to know that if this feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. And, you, you know, the thing is, is I know that you guys, you don't like to hear things. You don't like to hear what you don't want to hear, you know, so... Maybe you shouldn't even be watching tarot readings. I don't know. Believe and trust from Archangel Michael. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. That's your card. That is your card. Strength, courage, and confidence. That is your card. You know, sometimes you have to accept things that you don't want to accept, okay? And I just know. I just know that that's hard. That's hard sometimes. And it does take courage and it does take strength and it does take confidence to accept something that you know if something isn't working out this is my second reading I did your reading this morning and I couldn't I couldn't let it go because it was so somebody is in a huge denial huge 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 denial and they don't want to accept the truth they don't because they don't want other people to see that they made a mistake you know so therefore they're living in denial the two of swords is right in the middle somebody that, that knows the truth but is accepting refusing to accept the truth and I don't want to hear the truth either don't tell me the truth either because I know I already know but I don't want to accept it and it hurts to accept it so I don't even want to hear it it takes strength, strength, courage, and confidence to accept the truth, whether you like it or not. There's codependency issues, and if you think about, you think about uh, the lion, which you guys are ruled by, you know, the lion. You think about a cat. Okay, we're going to break it down here. Think about a cat. What do cats spend most of their time doing? I mean, I'm not going to go any further than that. And, okay, you know what they spend most of their time doing, okay? And then you think about what, what, what is, if you think about a lion, it's about pride, right? They have a pride, it's about pride. I mean, what more can I say? Don't let pride get in the way of doing the right thing. We all make mistakes. There's children involved in this situation. Whatever's going on in my last reading, children are involved and children are being hurt because of somebody's pride. That won't resonate with everybody, but it was a pretty strong children. Was, there's a couple of different spots. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, middle of July. thinking about walking away from a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. You're thinking about it, right? What's stopping you? Chaos, financial loss, financial disorder. What's stopping you from walking away? And, you know, 
Any negative comments will be deleted and blocked. If you don't like me, don't watch. Somebody is going through chaos, disorder, financial losses, losing money like daily. They have to make a decision. Somebody has to make a decision as to what to do. You may be forced with a new a new opportunity, not forced or faced, faced with a new opportunity unexpectedly. Maybe you have an opportunity to go a new route, to go a new way. Maybe your partner has this opportunity. But there's consequences for your decisions. There is. This is a card of consequences as well. Somebody is refusing to let go, let something die, let something in, holding on to something that pretty much has already died. Wanting it to become alive again. But that's an injustice. That's not fair. And somebody, and this came up in the other reading too, somebody doesn't want to be held accountable. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions in this. I'm right, you're wrong. You're not always right. You have to make compromises. Somebody is not being honest. They're not acting with integrity. They're not doing the right thing. Escaping. I'd like to escape this reality, please. Please help me to escape this reality. I'd, I'd, I'd just soon lie to myself for as long as I possibly can. But it hurts. It hurts. You have to have faith. You need to believe in yourself and you need to stop hurting yourself. You need to find that strength, confidence, and, confidence, and courage like it says in this card. You need to be strong. You need to do the right thing and somebody isn't doing the right thing and it is connected to you. It's connected to you. Not having faith that you can walk away, not having faith, not wanting to be held accountable for any of this and treating other people unfairly, it is connected to you, okay? And if you point the finger at another person, what is that called? When you try to switch it up and you say, oh, no, 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 it's the other person. It's not me. That's a narcissist right there. When you point the finger at another person and don't be held accountable for your actions, what is that anyway? Denial? It could be denial. Somebody's trying to escape reality, hurting themselves, suffering. So we're going to get some clarifiers. Other people see, this is how other people see, that justice isn't being served. Other people see that something isn't right. Other people see that somebody's lying. Somebody's being dishonest. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable. Other people see that. Your challenge is this Three of Swords. This is your challenge position, dealing with the heartache dealing with the hurt, allowing this hurt to bring you growth. That's your challenge. Yeah, life isn't fair and it hurts. Reality isn't fair, it hurts. Bitterness, resent, anger, upset. I don't care who I hurt in the process. That's this card in reversed. You don't care who you hurt in the process? Oh, no, 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 it's the other person, right? Mm-hmm, I see, I see, I see. Everybody else does too. Eight of Pentacles, work hard. Yeah, hard work pays off. You have the ability to heal. You have the ability to find that strength and that confidence and that courage that's been lost. Hard work pays off. 
You need to put in effort. You need to put in effort to become alive again, to step outside of this situation that has reached a dead end. You have to put in effort. It takes work. You can't be laying around like the big old lions laying in the field and doing nothing. You've got to chase your dreams. Somebody is clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, clinging to the good times, wanting love. I just want love even if it's not the right kind of love. I want more, I want more, I want love, even if it's, like I said, it's not the right kind of, even if it's false. False love is good. Yeah, yeah, I can take false love as long as, you know, the title is there. You guys are investing in something, waiting for something to happen, waiting for this to, to grow. Well, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of uh, conflicts here. You've got a lot of power struggles going on. And it's like the rope is about to break. It's like it's a, you know, it's like the, the line is stretched to the limit. And now it's up to you to find your power. It's about you become waking up, finding that power to shed, to change. The magician is about, is a person a magician that finds the tools within themselves, all the tools, to bring success to their lives. But they have to be willing to do it. They have to be willing to use that power. They have to get up and do it. They have to put effort into it. And stop denying the truth. This is the sort of truth. It's reverse. Somebody, I saw this in the other reading as well, is totally lying to themselves about a happy situation that they are not happy in but damn I told everybody this was gonna work out I told everybody this is that I knew this was right and it's unrealistic There's a lot of criticism here. And now you're probably like, yeah, it's you. Yeah, it is. Yep. Somebody's wasting their time focusing on something that isn't going to happen. And it's not going to change. You think the other person's going to change? It's love, right? It's love. It's love. But there could be a new opportunity for love, right? An unexpected choice in love. But somebody has to be left out in the cold first. This is left out in the cold. <laughs> to have this new opportunity in love, you're going to have to leave something else behind. And I know that you don't want to hear that, but that's what this card says. You need to come out of this darkness. You need to see the light. You need to walk away from whatever this is that doesn't really serve you. But you're determined to make it work. But you're ignoring the truth. You have two, you have two choices, two paths. Do you want to find the real deal or do you want to keep living in denial? Yeah, this is stressful, this is painful, and it's really safe to keep this blindfold on and pretend but it's, it's causing a lot of sorrow and hurt with that Three of Swords. And you're blocking your emotions. It's causing emotional turmoil. This keeping the blindfold on. Eventually, you're going to fall through that ice and you're going to have to swim out of it. Hopefully, you can make it. Somebody is going through some sort of midlife crisis and they're afraid that they're going to grow old alone. If I leave this situation... I will find nobody else that wants me, even though I know it's not right for me. I feel like there's no hope. There's, there's, I don't have any, any, hope or inspiration within me that says that anybody will 
fulfill my wishes in the future. There's lack of faith, loathing, self-doubt, discouragement. Your own insecurities are holding you back. But wherever you're at, whatever you're denying, there's no wish fulfillment. It's not a dream come true. It's caused a lot of emotional loss, a lot of emotional discontent. And you have somebody else, Leo. Now I know for sure, you have somebody else. That's what this card says. But you can't even see it because you're staying in a situation that is a dead end. But you told everybody it was perfect. It's the ultimate betrayal when you betray yourself of true love. Other people are getting hurt in this situation. There's children involved. I know there is. Justice reversed. Karma is a bitch. And she's sitting right beside her. So, just saying. You have to act with integrity. <laughs> and somebody in this situation, don't you dare point the finger at another person. Because this person is for Leo. Is not acting with integrity. And whether karma comes to kick your ass now or later, it will come. Something needs to end. Somebody is in a dead end situation and they are refusing to admit it. Refusing to admit it. And you guys don't have to like me. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear like the majority of the readers on here. Not all. I'm not. I'm here to get you to do the right goddamn thing. And if you don't like me, I don't care. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith. Replace fear with faith so that I can accept the truth that I know in my soul. Somebody is staying in a situation because it's ego-based. It's codependent. I'm afraid. I am afraid of growing old alone. Look the card up. Hermit reversed. Feel free. Nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outside, outdoors. It's about grounding yourself. And this card, it was in the other one, it was the nurture card, I think, or ground yourself. It was the green one. You need to ground yourself. You need to come down to reality here. Who's getting hurt because of pride? Because if your children are involved, young children... How's it going to affect them? Do you want them to go through what you went through that put you in this spot? Anyhow, I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with everybody. As far as new love, there's an opportunity for new love, an unexpected choice for love. Okay, there is. But you have to let something go first. That is not right that you've been in denial about leaving. And here's the, this, there's the children. Okay, there's children involved. Um, and I don't think that you need to leave the children behind. I think that you're, somebody could be staying in a situation because of the children or 
who knows what, but because we're this is for thousands of people. Not we're not you guys aren't all living under the same roof. You don't have the same souls. You don't have the same lives. So you're gonna have to take big bits and pieces from this reading. Somebody is involved in a situation that they don't want to be in, but they're staying perhaps just for the children or the child. But if they're not in love. So that's what I have, Leo. I'm sorry that you guys probably don't like me now, but I, it is what it is. I'm not going to pretend. I don't have this card in none of my readings. None. <laughs>